Here's William Lane Craig's attempt to explain why the new atheists became a trend. Dr. Craig, I was intrigued uh, at how you portrayed the change in academia, uh, how it became now philosophically credible to defend theism, and, and almost how the 1960s and mid-20th century scepticism had faded. I'm just wondering then, how do you explain uh, the rise of new atheism uh, a decade or so ago uh, and the popularity that that got? Maybe just put that in context for us? Yes. Thank you. That's an excellent question. I'm talking about a revolution that has been going on in the academy, particularly in philosophy departments. The new atheism is not an academic movement. It is a movement in pop culture. And the proponents of the new atheist, atheism are not sophisticated um, thinkers, but rather they are cultural figures influencing a popular movement. Some of them are not sophisticated thinkers, but some of them are. Daniel Dennett is an academic philosopher who is a credentialed authority on the issues about which he writes. And in fact, in the academic realm, many of them have been roundly denounced by um, academic philosophers and science, scientists for their naive scientism and verificationism. I'm going to need a citation on that one. It's true that Dawkins, Hitchens, and Harris are not taken very seriously among philosophers in academia, but the issue is not with their scientism and verificationism. It has more to do with the fact that they don't have a very deep understanding of the arguments. In The God Delusion, for example, Dawkins flippantly dismisses a list of several common arguments for a god that are presented in their most rudimentary form. Little, if anything, in that book would get past peer review if presented to a philosophical journal and the book is not written for that purpose. It is really, I think the new atheism represents, in a sense, the long lingering shadow of that earlier era that I spoke of during the 30s and 40s when verificationism and positivism reigned at the universities. And um, these men are typically not aware of the revolution that has transpired in philosophy. They're not aware that the positivism and verificationism is now obsolete and regarded as untenable. And so you have this pop cultural movement that is going on in quite the opposite direction of the academic movement that I described. This is true in at least some circles, but one should also note that Craig's epistemology is not consistent with mainstream academic consensus either. Craig subscribes to what is referred to as reformed epistemology, upon which he bases his assertion that the feeling of the presence of the Holy Spirit makes belief in a god rational even if there's no evidence for one. This is probably an even less respected position than positivism. Also, it seems to me that the popularity of new atheism is a direct consequence of 9-11. It was a clear motivation for Hitchens and Harris to write the books that they wrote at the very least. To everyone who helps me out on Patreon, you're a big help. Thanks so much.